They call themselves the Dinos, and now the University of Calgary is reinforcing that name with science. Paleontologists at the post-secondary institution just uncovered the closest known ancestor to the mighty T-Rex. Mark Villani has more on the discovery that could rewrite what we know about one of Earth's most iconic predators. The T-Rex dominated the box office and our imaginations in Jurassic Park. But now scientists at the University of Calgary have a clearer picture of what its previously unknown ancestor looked like. We ended up rewriting the family tree of tyrannosaurs. Meet Konkulu, a newly identified dinosaur species that lived nearly 86 million years ago, a full 20 million years before it evolved into a T-Rex. Weighing just 750 kilograms, it's only about the size of a horse built for speed instead of bone-crushing jaws. It's essentially a missing link between small early forms and these giant apex predatory tyrannosaurs. The discovery was made by University of Calgary paleontologists Darla Zelenitsky and Jared Voris after examining fossils in southeastern Mongolia. This is basically Rexy's great, 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 great grandfathers. Voris, a PhD student, first noticed differences in the nasal cavity of Konkulu when comparing it to bigger tyrannosaurs, features that would grow over hundreds of thousands of years into these massive 6,000 kilogram creatures. So this really helps us to nail down the timing and the, the way and the, and the way these animals kind of evolved. Konkulu directly translates to Prince of Dragons in Mongolian. The name denotes its place in the lineage of tyrannosaurs before it evolved into the T-Rex known as the King of Dinosaurs. But now researchers are digging even deeper, attempting to uncover more secrets from the past. So we've gone from sort of yeah, the middle of the story to the end of the story for tyrannosaurs, but we want to go more towards the beginning. It just kind of shows that there's still lots and lots that we can learn. Mark Villani, CTV News, Calgary.